Hey ladies and gentlemen, today we are live down in Santa Monica, right on 3rd Street Promenade, and we're gonna ask some of the local residents here what they love and don't love so much, basically the pros and cons about living here in the Santa Monica area. And we're gonna get into it right now. Hey ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the community here, I wanna welcome you to the channel. And if you're looking for the most thorough, deep dive, all things Los Angeles, well, this is the channel that does just that for you. So go ahead right now and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and also ring the bell for notifications so you can get notified for market updates here in the Los Angeles area. Hey, my name is James Studnicker Jr. and we're getting tons of calls and emails every day from people just like you and we absolutely love it. If you're looking to make a move here, make sure you go ahead and shoot us a text, give us a call, jump on our calendar or schedule a Zoom call with us. We'd love to see uh, a face with a name and we got your back when looking to make a smooth move here in Los Angeles, California. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, so we are live down here in Santa Monica on Third Street Promenade, and I have lovely Val with me here. She's gonna tell me some pros and cons about the Santa Monica area. I'm with Sally. Sally is a palm reader, as you can see by the little kiosk booth we are in right now. So what is your first, what is your first pro about Santa Monica? Well, my favorite thing is the weather. Okay, Because right. it's starting to get hot everywhere else, but the beach is always really nice and fresh. Yep, okay, yeah. well that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much a, a, the first thing on my list as well. Yeah. So when you'll see my other video, uh, it'll say, gotta love the weather here. The weather yep. perfect here. Okay, and, and so Val is from the Los Angeles area. Yes. And so she's very familiar though, uh, probably comes down here and does some shopping, yes. of course. So that's why we're here, obviously. <laughs> so what, what do you like most about Santa Monica at first? It's the entertainment. I think that you can come here with your family, have dinner, you got your street entertainment, restaurant, shops. Right, yep, you got everything here. Yep, perfect. Yep. I think yep. it's a good family area. Yep, absolutely, and we've mentioned that before on our other vlog tour that uh, Santa Monica is a great area for families. Your second pro. My second pro I think would be the food. The food's really good here. Yep. Especially if you like fish. Yep. The sushi's okay. really good down here always, yeah. Is there any place that you would say, hey, you gotta absolutely try if you're down here? Any seafood in Santa Monica is super, super good, yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, see, there you go. We got so uh, a good little pro tip there from the local resident on seafood. Your second pro of Santa Monica. Santa Monica, like I said, is a great place. Uh, it's a place for families. It's a place for entertainment. You got the movie theaters. You got the Santa Monica Pier. I mean, uh, I, I, I'd say come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we 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 always know the pier is a number one attraction, and everybody has always said that. So uh, you're hearing that from Sally, not just me. Uh, absolutely, come down to the pier. Number three pro. For Santa Monica. The shopping is really good as well. Okay. All the stores here, all the major stores are here, which is really what are, fun. What are a few of your, of your favorite stores? Well, they have Zara here, which is pretty intense because they don't have that many all over the place. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Awesome. So Zara is one of our favorite places here in the Santa Monica area. So make sure you check that out if you're a girl, I guess if you like shopping so i don't even know i've never even been in that store so i couldn't even tell you uh, actually what's in there but uh if she says it's good i'm going to take her word for it all right awesome the third pro that you enjoy about santa monica the beach we got a great beach uh, of course yeah it's great it's great and uh, you got uh it, it's a great beach um Hopefully they can clean it up soon. <laughs> right, well just like any beach, you know, there's a lot of people, there's, you know, sometimes trash acc accumulates, yeah. you know, once in a while a little sewage spill. Uh, but you know, hey, other than that, it's a beach like any other area and we got to take care of our beaches here, so awesome. Okay, so your fourth pro. Um, I think the nightlife here is really fun. If okay. you're into the bar scene, it's fun to go out at night. There's right. a lot of music. Okay, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess she's, they're, in, they're they're still in their 20s, and uh, if, if 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 that, they look pretty young and uh, for the bar bar scene nightlife no, type of stuff. The, <laughs> well, whatever whatever age, but uh, yeah, that, so that's a real popular thing for. Um, I know I've been here in the area 53 years. Um, I know the, all the young professionals love it down here. Um, I actually worked in Santa Monica in the uh, motion picture industry for nine years. Um, have been retired for nine years as well, but. Um, anyway, so the nightlife is what's happening down here, according to Val. Uh, 
fourth pro about Santa Monica. I like the location I, because you got Malibu down the street. Right. I, I, okay. The Palisades down the street. Absolutely. You got, you got Venice down the street. So the location, location, yeah. it's location, location. Right. Absolutely. So obviously location's huge here. You are definitely... Um, you know minutes away from uh, certain areas like venice and and whatnot so just to give you a rough idea as well you're about like you know anywhere from half hour to an hour and a half down from downtown la based on the traffic and then you know the same thing with the lax airport just to give you a little reference you're uh, also about you know a half hour away from there or an hour again with traffic even though it's not that far so uh, that's just some reference points uh, regarding that, the last uh, but not least, uh, pro number five for in Santa Monica. Oh my God, I can't think of uh, <laughs> You can never get tired of saying Santa Monica Pier. Okay. I love saying that. Yeah, all the time. everything is so pretty to look at. Okay, yeah. That's true. Okay, so the pier is uh, pro number five. Uh, agree. That's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we we did a uh, we we did our live vlog there the other day uh, or the other week, so you'll see that as well. But definitely. Uh, pro number five is probably uh, probably the most prominent uh, thing here in Santa Monica is the pier. So the last pro um, of the area, like you know, everything, any any anything on the, your last top of your list here for pros. What about shopping, Sally? Shopping is great. Okay, hey, hey, Sally said shopping. <laughs> So, Shaven is great. I mean, you got every store you could think of here. Yep, absolutely. So, whether or not you like Skechers, Sunglass Hut, uh, you know, all these different areas here, you pretty much have everything for anybody here in the area. So, what what is your number one con? The number one con in Santa Monica, I think, is the parking. Yep. Okay. Awesome. I, I have to agree. Especially with that. on the weekends. Yep. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Got to put your either pay for parking uh, meter or in a parking structure. Or just go around for minutes and yep, forever exactly. until you find the yep. meter, yeah. Okay, all right, Sally, uh, your first con of the area, Santa Monica. What I don't like about Santa Monica is the parking. It's hard to get parking. Yep, absolutely. Everybody knows the parking here stinks. Uh, <laughs> You gotta, yeah, parking here is, you gotta either, you're gonna either park far away on a street, but uh, usually you gotta pay for parking here. Uh, there's no way to really get around that. Nope. Uh, the number two con. Okay, traffic to get here is really bad. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely, so. The cars by the beach is always pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, so traffic yeah. would be the second worst, I think. Yes, yeah. and absolutely, so if you come down here, you gotta give yourself ample time to drive. And obviously bring your checkbook, uh, actually not the checkbook, bring your credit cards, make sure you can pay for parking in the meters here because uh, that's pretty typical down here in Santa Monica. Number two con. I think they can, ha they can do something for the homeless because there's a lot of homeless uh, and I think the city could do something to help them out. Yeah, absolutely. So the homeless always comes up. Um, Bottom line, it's not a great thing, but we got to deal with it, and uh, they need a place to live too. So hopefully, City of Santa Monica get their uh, act together and uh, help them out. So the number three con. Okay, this is for people who are vegan. There's not a lot of vegan options here in Santa Monica. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so she says vegan is not too popular here, but not she yet. but she would. It sounds like you want more, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Awesome. I think so. Okay. Yep. Definitely need more vegan, vegetarian type of places. Um, I thought there would actually be more, um, but I'm going to take her word for it again because I, I, I actually I can't remember the last time I was in a vegan place uh, out here in Santa Monica. So we'll we're going to check that out further. Third con about Santa Monica. Hard. Uh, what else I don't like about Santa Monica? The parking. Uh, I don't know. Traffic getting here. Traffic. Oh yes. I mean, yes. Maybe, I mean, yes. I, 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 hey, yes. Yes. Nudging, nudging Sally yeah. a little, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Traffic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So traffic. Wherever you're coming from, traffic is a really bummer here in the Los Angeles area and especially Santa Monica because it is on the beach and uh, everybody, of course, wants to come here. So you're gonna need ample time to get here. So always plan way ahead and give yourself at least a half to half hour to hour uh, before you come down here. The fourth con. Okay, um, I think the homelessness is getting pretty bad. Yep, okay, uh, I, I have to agree with her. It used to be Venice, which was pretty bad, but you can see that it's kind of going all over the place now. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, so that's one thing I had mentioned before is that there are a lot of uh, homelessness here. So you do have to be careful, um, obviously just because uh, you know, things happen and um, just just be uh, be aware of your surroundings here. Uh, couldn't agree with her more. We'll give Sally one last uh, 
con about the area. I would mention, um, I don't know, there's a lot that you could say about Santa Monica positive. Okay. See, there's, not much, there's not much negatives. Okay, well that, see, right, okay. So that's a great last con is a no con, right? So, all right, hey, listen, we've taken, uh, Sally's running a business here, so we got to quit screwing around and uh, make sure Sally can continue business, but we want to thank Sally so much for her time and uh, participating uh, in the pros and cons of Santa Monica. Last but not least of your cons here in Santa Monica. Yes, I wish it was cheaper to live there, live here. Okay. Just a little bit cheaper, even yep. for people who are graduated and right. have bachelors, I still can't afford to live here. Right, okay, well, well so, so, so so the median price here is about a million and a half yeah. and so and so when we did our uh, tour of Santa Monica uh, we went all around and we cho chose about four properties everything from from the low range and around a million to 90 million yeah. so okay so so she's saying she's saying that the uh, the prices which I couldn't agree more yeah. uh, being in real estate I know all about that so hey um, we want to thank Val and uh, Danny for for chiming in there and taking time uh, you know about five six minutes here to uh, help us out here so uh, any last things for anybody thinking about making a move to Santa Monica definitely do it if you can afford it and if not somewhere around here it's pretty pretty awesome cool. all right hey thanks guys so hey this is just a recap uh, today's pros and cons in uh, Santa Monica California so we spoke to uh, first we spoke to Val then we spoke to Sally and so some of the um, the pros here of living in Santa Monica were definitely the weather, uh, the beach, Santa Monica Pier, shopping, the food, right? So you got all these amazing uh, things that people love here in Santa Monica. And, you know, unfortunately, there's cons everywhere you go as well. So some of the cons were, of course, is the, uh, the homelessness, uh, traffic, parking, um, you know, like I'm experiencing now. If you take a look, you're going to see you know, it's busy down here. So, um, yeah, but so those are some of the cons. And so, hey, listen, um, if you're uh, if you're thinking about making a move here or you're buying or selling here and you uh, would like to have my help, well, you got to reach out to me. Um, got to get it, get a hold of me via text. So shoot me a text. Uh, give me a call. Send me an email, uh, jump on our calendar. I uh, would love to do a Zoom with you, put a face with the name, and that way I can help you uh, figure out your situation and uh, to help you best. And, uh, you know, we'll get you uh, put in the right direction here. So uh, with that being said, like I said, we'll, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see you on the next video. And hey, don't forget, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for this channel. And uh, all of that helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. And so we would really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.